everyone. Good to see you here. I'm glad you guys are doing okay. Uh, thanks for joining us. We've got some special guests this week. Emerson and Kennedy are going to be here. Um, they're pretty creative kids and we got some creative art projects today. So they're going to help us with that and they're also going to help us with the memory verse. Um, this week, I want you guys to remember something. It's about Jesus, and it's about preparing our heart for Jesus, okay? Um, at Journey Today, they're going to talk about that this week. They're going to dig into a Bible verse that has to do with that, and they're also going to give you a couple little things to do um, to help you understand it a little better, okay? So don't be afraid to push pause on the tape and kind of do what they're saying, okay? So um, Jesus is the reason for Christmas. Uh, it's not about presents all the time, although presents are awesome. Um, giving presents is awesome. I love to give presents. I like to get them. Um, just remember that Jesus is the real reason for Christmas, okay? So when you're sitting there opening up your presents, remember Jesus and, and God, um, they gave us this chance to do this and spend time with our family. And I think that's a great thing to remember, okay? So this week in our craft project, I'm going to help you guys remember it. And hopefully, uh, when, uh, if you guys make it at home, you guys can remember Jesus because it's going to be something we're going to be able to put on the tree, okay? So um, journey today, you guys, jump in there. You guys have a good week. What are you doing? I'm getting ready for Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Mmm, really seems so wonderful. Hello everybody, welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is Nick. No, I'm Santa Claus. No, uh, hey, I'm Jeremy. Boy, it's not even Christmas yet, and you already seem really worn out. I do not think that preparing for Christmas is supposed to be so exhausting. That's easy for you to say. My baby Jesus laser lawn display isn't going to set itself up. Baby Jesus laser lawn display? That sounds really awesome. Yeah. I don't think that's how we're supposed to be preparing for Christmas, right? You know what? I think today's Bible story might help explain what I'm talking about. It's about a baby, but it's not baby Jesus. It's a baby named John. Oh, yeah. We talked about him last week. His dad, Zachariah, and mom were told that they were going to have a baby, but they were so old that they laughed at the angel, and the angel took their voice away. Yeah, that's right. But just like the angel said to Zachariah's wife, she became pregnant and she gave birth to a baby John right before baby Jesus was born. But here's what I want us to look at. When John was born, Zechariah got his voice back and he broke out into prophetic song about the baby John. That means this song was a message from God. You're not going to sing the song, are you? No way. In fact, I'm not even going to read it. I think you guys should read it for yourselves. In just a second, press pause, then open your Bible to the verses on the screen and read them together. We'll see you here whenever you're finished. Isn't that so cool? Baby John had his own song, Wicka 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 from God. And the song told Baby John what his job was gonna be. It said, you will go ahead of the Lord to prepare the way for him. Yeah. And that's what he did. When baby John grew up, he was known as John the Baptist, and he helped people prepare their hearts for the coming of Jesus. Their hearts? But what did he do? Did he help them hang up their Christmas lights? No. Did he help uh, wrap presents? No. Did he give them tips on finding the best online deal? No. Uh, did he help them decorate their Christmas tree. No, those things weren't even things back then, right? John helped people prepare for the coming of Jesus by telling them to turn away from their sins and to live their lives God's way. You know, we're all so busy getting ready for Christmas, but maybe we're not getting the most important thing ready. Yeah, you know, I think you're right. And you know what? That gives me an idea for today's challenge. All right, so Nick, the Christmas tree lot was all out of trees, and I know you're telling us about preparing our hearts, but the fact of the matter is, like, I love decorating for Christmas. So today's challenge is we're going to have three minutes 
to decorate ourselves like the best ever Christmas tree. Mac picks the winner, winner takes all. What do you think, you ready? Game on. Three, two, one, go. I'll tell you what, that was a really fun challenge, but we look absolutely ridiculous. I agree. And to be honest, I don't feel any more ready for Christmas than I did before. Me neither. You know what, maybe we should take this stuff off and talk about how to get really ready for Christmas this year. Okay, that was crazy, but I think I have a better way for us to prepare for Christmas. When John the Baptist was getting people ready for the coming of Jesus, they didn't spend any time playing jingle bells or wrapping presents or dressing up in silly decorations. Instead, he helped people get their hearts ready for Jesus. Maybe that's what we need to do to get ready for Christmas. Nick, I think you're onto something. In fact, there's a Bible verse in the book of the Psalms that talks about doing that. Let's look at it together. Open your Bibles to Psalm 5110 and read with me where it says, God, create a pure heart in me. Give me a new spirit that is faithful to you. The best way to get ready to celebrate the birth of Jesus is to have a pure heart and a spirit that is faithful to God. And actually, that gives me another idea. Normally on the Journey Today show, we have you press pause and talk to other people. But this time, we're going to have you press pause and talk to God. We'll give you some ideas about things you can pray about together with your family or friends. When you're finished praying together, press play and we'll see you back. You know, there's so many fun ways to celebrate Christmas. There's nothing wrong with hanging lights, decorating trees, and giving each other presents. But this year, let's prepare for Christmas the John the Baptist way. Let's slow down and get our hearts ready for Jesus. As the one who collapsed on the desk from exhaustion, I love that idea. Merry Christmas, friends. We'll see you next week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone, we are here with Emerson and Kennedy, and we are about to do the memory verse. We're gonna yep. have Emerson's gonna start, Kennedy's gonna finish, and then we're gonna roll through. So, you ready? Emerson, go ahead. God, create a pure heart in me. Give me a new spirit that is faithful to you. Awesome. Um, Psalms 51 10. Nice job, awesome, awesome. So, you guys remember that. God, create a pure heart in me. Give me a new spirit that is faithful to you, okay? It's about the heart, okay? You need to create your heart. You gotta open your heart to Jesus, okay? He's right there, so that's awesome. And that's Psalms 5110. So now that we're done with that, guys, what do you think we should do next? Get to the music! Nice. Let every heart prepare 
Okay, um, all right, so here we are guys. Um, Emerson, Kennedy, we're here for a craft project. Uh, we're talking about um, creating a space in your heart for Jesus, yes, right? Like, right? Like, because there's no spaces in your heart. You need space for baby Jesus. Right, yeah, exactly, for the idea of Jesus. And you guys are both awesome. I know you've told me some of the stuff you've done for friends and stuff that kind of, you know, shows Jesus in the world, and that's pretty cool. So what we're doing is we're creating a little ornament for our tree. Right? I put the googly eyes on. This is supposed to represent yeah. Jesus. This isn't really Jesus. I was just being silly. But um, it, we're going to make this. And it basically, you can hang it on a tree. And then you have an ornament. And it reminds you to create a space in your heart for Jesus. So these guys are really creative. I know they're going to make something sweet. So we're here to do so. Yeah. So um, what do you guys think? Um, yeah. Um, I cool. think it's awesome. I think it's wonderful. Awesome. I think it's hard. Good yeah. deal. Good deal. So here's what we're going to do. She, um, Kennedy, these guys have a couple hearts. Yep. Boom, boom. And they're going to just decorate them. Um, we have a little bit of glue. We have some duct tape because I'm going to tape it to the back so it's easier to re you know, pull it off to eat them. You know, because these are meant to be eaten, not just to be hung on a tree forever. Yeah. So, um, And they're going to do a little bit of decoration. Um, they can do whatever you want. You can be a little baby Jesus, or it can be the name Jesus, or it can just I'm be something silly I'm that reminds you of Jesus. I'm going to make it a goa, so I'm going to take a red manga, put lipstick on it. Oh, and, nice. Yeah. Right, so we need to do that. So we're going to jump in and do that. If you guys want to start your creating, however you want, I'll, I'll help with the glue because it's super sticky and, you know, it'll just be easier. So go ahead and do what you guys need to do. Um, start out, pick out the marker you want, do whatever. If you want glue on there, you know, whatever you want to do. What are you thinking, Emerson? What are you going to go with? I think I'm gonna put eyelashes. Eyelashes? Are you, what are you gonna use for eyelashes? Uh, marker. Oh, nice. There you go. So start out your put eyelashes. eyelashes on nice, too. nice. You could put. Did you want some eyes on yours? Yeah. I do. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. You'd have to just show me where you want them, and I'll pop a little piece of glue on there. Now you can also use like hot glue at home if your parents are helping you. Yeah, um, but you can't. Because yeah. you have to be careful. You have to be really careful because it's hot glue. This glue is a little bit more like, um, yeah. a little more kid yeah. friendly slash Dan friendly. Yeah. So, so I which want is pretty them good. right there. Okay, so I'll put a little dot there. There we go. A little dot there. Oh, nice. There you go. Now, can you pop them on there? Yeah. Nice. That's a good <laughs> There you go. Nice, nice. Now, here's the thing. Today, it's probably better to let them dry a little bit, you know, because yeah. they fall off easy. No, that's okay. Don't worry about that. Oh, you got it? Um, <laughs> but after they dry, they can't hang on the tree because I just made mine a little bit ago and it's actually yeah. tree worthy. So, Hello. do you want eyes on yours, Emerson? You yeah. go with, where are you going to put them? Um, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'll put one there. They're a little mm -hmm. bit far mm -hmm. I like it though. Yeah. That's this is pretty one awesome. on each side so we can see on each yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And she's going to, looks like she's put, oh, look at that, some eyebrows. Nice, no. nice. Sorry. Eyelashes. Eye eyelashes, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, yeah, I guess they are eyelashes because they are right on the eyes. Eyebrows would be above them, so um, very cool. Yeah, the glue made it tougher a little bit, so that's okay. That works good. So that's pretty neat. We we have some feathers. I guess feathers. she plucked her. Um, her <laughs> right, she plucked that side, which is awesome. <laughs> so, um, so you can do this with anything at home. I used felt paper. I got at Myers because it's easy, but you can do hard cardstock. She did. She did. It she looks good. Um, all kinds of different things. And we, I just pulled some stuff out of our bin that we could use to decorate it. It's just It's really about reminding us about creating room for, for Jesus. So I think that's really cool. So, so these guys are kind of finishing up now. And I'm going um, to... I want that one to go like you. Okay. So we want to flip her over. Okay. And you want it like um, here and here. Okay. So, and you're gonna put that on there. Go ahead, just stick her on there. Nice, there you go. Now here's the thing about these. We'll have to be careful because um, 
Yeah, 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 that's okay. We can wash it off afterwards. So that's good. Whoa. Nice, nice. So we can flip her over. If we don't push down on it, it'll be good. So that's awesome. You got that down. I'm gonna get this ready. Cause this, I use duct tape or whatever to hold the sucker together, or to hold it to it, just cause it's easier to tear it off and it's yeah. not gluey and gross. So, mm -hmm. um, and duct tape does everything. So we, yeah. we love duct tape. So, and yes. these guys, and you can go a lot more than this. I'm kind of having these guys go speedy, you know? I'm doing my um, initials. I did. I like them. I, um, a K, a E, and a S. Nice, very cool. Okay. You want to put her on? Yes. So all we have to do is if you put that down for a sec, Kenny, right okay. there, we will put this, well, we'll put her just like this. We'll spin Yo. her over. And I will <laughs> duct tape it to it. And there we go. So if you hold it up carefully, oh, there you go. You can touch your little thing. Something. All right, so and I will get Kennedy's ready over here. Kennedy's ready. Emerson, you're ready to roll. I'm almost ready. I like it. Okay, so um, yeah, and I, this is kind of cool because once, you, like I said, you hang it on the tree, and it, you know, as silly as it is, I mean, it, it can be whatever. You could draw all kinds of stuff on here, but it helps that sometimes the kids they'll be reminded, they'll be like, remember that they need to make room for Jesus in their heart. Mm -hmm. So, and sometimes the parents will remind it. So that's pretty neat. So. Um, I think that's a pretty cool thing to do. What do you guys I think? Make oh my ears. Gosh. Yeah, yeah, very I cool. Make ears. I want to make these ears. Okay, we'll get some ears here. Let me finish hers. Actually, oh yeah, we'll do the ears now. She's just finishing up. So here we go. Where are you putting the ears? Um, right here. Oh yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. We'll give you a little extra glue for the ears. Oh my gosh. Because these are pom poms. Yeah, that's awesome. There yeah. you go. Nice, nice. That's, that's actually really cool. Nice. Hmm. Very cool. See, I knew that they would be super creative. So very cool. Nice, nice job. And you want, Ooh, want me to put that beard. on? You want a fuzzy goatee? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah nice, nice. I like it. There you go. Oh, there you go. Orange is this little guy's here. I like it. I like it. Actually, it's very cool. You guys do a really good job. You're very creative. Ooh, I want to make eyebrows next. I'll show you what I've done. Very good, very good. Someone so, has um, have eyebrows. Guys, you know what I want to do? A little bit, because we're about we're about ready to finish our crafts, which is pretty cool. Yep. I think it'd be kind of cool to uh, remember about the video today, what they talked about in the video today, right? So in the video, they talked about us making room for Jesus in our hearts mm -hmm. so that we can move forward, right? We can use him, and well, actually, he can use us, and God can use us. So I think okay, that's a pretty so cool thing to remember this week. I like them. I like them. That's awesome. So that looks good. That looks really good. So as we're finishing here, guys, I want to thank uh, Emerson and Kennedy for coming out and hanging out with us. Uh, I think it's been pretty cool. These guys have done this before, and they're like little professionals. They're doing a great job. Um, you know, maybe we can have them back again sometime, you know, when it gets a little bit nicer out. Uh, maybe get out in the farm maybe a little bit. We talked to Dad about that moving forward. I know it's a crazy time with COVID stuff, so we just got to be safe right now. I want to make a um, goatee, too. Let's put this on the back. You want to make a goatee? Yeah, I want to. Let me put this to, on the back here. I want to get this on. It'd be like a bee. You want to get that on, too? All right, let's get this big guy on here. Let's finish this before. I think he's a girl, not a guy. Wait, we should call she, we should call oh. the guy. Oh, wow. The guy lost his goatee, but that's okay. We can put the goatee back. <laughs> I shaved my goatee out. Did he shave his goatee? He shaved his goatee. Like going it back. <laughs> he, he did. There you go. There you go. All right, so that shows you we got to let it sit to dry a little bit. So um, thanks, guys. You guys want to look at the camera and say bye for us and say thanks bye. for being out here? Bye. Yep. Um, you guys remember, follow the directions in that video. You can learn a lot. So you guys stay safe, and thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm